struct latch works. Struct latch is an assembly to uh, make a starter work uh, easier without bendings. In car starters, we have bendings mechanism. In here, in Aprilia SX Pau or Eric Stow, there is no bendings mechanic, so they had to replace it with one way bearing. How it works? It works like this that bearing can easily rotate in one direction, but on the other direction it just holds and it's just tied with the other components. I will ex explain it later. But here there is an example from my bike. It has right now about 110 hours and uh, I had the problems had problems with starting. Uh, it was random. Sometimes it started okay. Sometimes there were there were some strange noises from you know s uh, starter Jiris uh, area. So as I checked starter, it is fine. So I had to uh, take down uh, magneto with flywheel. Actually, flywheel, which, which is magneto here. Okay, to do that, I had to use special tools like this. It can be bought uh, from Aprilia, or you can buy it from me if you want. If you want to support my channel, it is not that expensive. It's around let me calculate forty dollars with shipping into Europe. Forty euros, sorry, uh, to to Europe. Uh, anyway, so first thing, what was had to be done, it was to unscrew the, the, the nut which was here, take off nut and, and the washer, then apply uh, the puller like that, then after this one is fully tight, just hold this, uh, this area with spanner, like 32 as I remember correctly, and then just spin this uh, screw to release flywheel from, from crank. It is done by that because it is a tight press in. Uh, so you just cannot un unscrew it and take it off. You need to just pull it hard. Be careful to not use any uh, tested, uh, tested tools to do that as there were some cases where the crank end, uh, end was, uh, was cracking due to use of uh, wrong uh, tools. So be careful, crank is very expensive, you don't want to damage it. Okay, going further, once we took out uh, our flywheel, it, it was actually like that, together, but let me explain it later. It has here six holes, which eventually go through this piece into here, and through these bolts are secured like that. Okay, inside through, through holes. And the most important stuff is to not try just to unscrew them like that. They should be Loctite with red Loctite, which is very hard to unscrew. You had to uh, heat up the flywheel, or magneto, however you want to call it. Uh, what I usually do, I heat, it, uh, I heat up the, the oven to 175 uh, Celsius degrees and put it for 12 minutes inside. What that uh, does, it just melts Loctite and then you are just able to unscrew those bolts. If you try to unscrew them with, with glue, it will just uh, finish like you will damage those uh, hexagons here and you will not be able to uh, to take them out. There has to be welding stuff and other crap to do release them. So, after you, uh, let's say, heated up the, the magneto, took, took out uh, bolts, then you can see the uh, sprack clutch bearing, one-way bearing. Here, it is my bearing, which is right now damaged, as you can see. But, when we uh, examine the surface here, you can see it is not that bad. Actually, I cannot see any uh, worn surface here. That would explain that it was working, 
but not always. So they had, they had, if there is a surface problem on, on the, the bearing area, or here, where the, where the bearing actually uh, works, okay, in this area, uh, here, and this area is also smooth. It's, n it's not perfect, okay, but it doesn't have to be smooth as, uh, as you can, you know, as a new surface. It had just has to be a little bit smooth, okay? There has to be no, like, uh, filling marks under your nail. Okay, so this one is good, this surface here on the gear. This surface is also good. There is a small uh, line, but I always see this line in any, any engine and disassemble. So this is fine, and surface is smooth as well. Uh, those those parts of bearings are good as well. There is no damage at all. So what 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 happened actually? It's easy. This spring, which is all around this bearing here, just snapped. And what it caused is is that uh, those pieces were not aligned as they should. Some of them were tidying, some of them were not tidying, or were loose. That's why bearing just works as random. So what I had to do, I just ordered a new bearing. This has to be removed actually, just okay, like that. And here you can see a new bearing, like that. It is actually bearing from China but from the manufacturer which is which has a really good a really good opinions and what I heard actually is that even uh, even uh, Apridia is sometimes ordering them from China I don't know if it's from this uh, supplier actually you can see the small difference here here is a Siger which holds uh, this assembly and here this stagger is not present they describe it as, as enforced bearing I don't know how much um, how much true is inside it but you know it is worth to check it actually I, I, it wasn't that expensive it was like five or even six time, times cheaper than uh, original uh, Aprilia bearing and if they order it from China as well why we have to pay so much money for it. Anyway, so how it works? How it works? Let's. Uh, this has to be installed on, on crank actually, but I don't have crank right here, so I won't show you. But we need to take this bearing, put it here like that, okay, press it. That's it. Okay, and it's, it should just freely move like that. Okay. Then we need to take our flywheel and install it here. As you can see, this part actually can be split. Okay, this uh, this stuff with with uh, teeth. Sorry, with, with uh, teeth. Yes, and this one is probably some some additional mess to and and the place where where bolts are tied in. It it can be split, but I, you don't have you don't have to do it to replace a bearing here. Inside, what, uh, before I install it, you can see there is a small. Uh, how do you call it? Uh, wait a second. Anyway, you, you, you can see it's like a bolt which holds the, this uh, this thing together. Okay. So don't lose it. Remember to to, to, to check it if it's uh, on its place. Then put a bearing inside. Then you can put a flywheel. And to be honest, you can you can do holes, and they are not symmetrical. As you can see, I will try to do it. In the wrong way, like this. Okay, here one, and here you, you can see that holes from six bolts are not are not centered. And when we oh, it's, it's magnet, so let's force here. Okay, so when we do it like reversed, like that, it fits. Well, okay. And now you need to put. It is good 
to put a new uh, new bolts if you have them. Remember to use the, the bolts with uh, 10, 10.2 or uh, 10.9 uh, hardness, so they are hard. But if you don't have them and your looks pretty well, my are not that bad, you can reuse them. And the procedure is to put the, the, the most important stuff. You need to degrease all threads on bolts and in sockets. So I usually use uh, some kind of brake cleaner. I use like I like to use Textar because it's very cheap and and uh, works very well. So I do that, and then I put a red Loctite or ev any other glue which has the same uh, the same specifications, and tight all six holes here. The newtonometers which you need to use are 13. 13 newton meters. After this one is, is done, you need to put this onto uh, onto crank, put the washer, and it is uh, nice to, uh, to to inspect the flywheel key. Oh, this this one was key. Okay, the flywheel key. If it's not broken or damaged, if it's if it looks fine, you can re reuse it. If not, just replace it. Then put a flywheel assembly on the crank, there is a roof for a key, put a uh, washer, nut, and tied it with a proper newtonometers. I don't remember the proper newtonometers from my head, but I will uh, put it uh, in um, in description up below this video. I hope that you now understand how it works. Uh, one more thing, let me, let me show you the the way how it works. So now I will just pour, without bolting it, I will just put it this, like that in here, and you can see right now that it spins in one way, but on single, second, the other direction, it just doesn't want to spin. Okay, that's how it works. So while the engine is running like that, it just spinning fine. But while once the starter needs to move, it just moving like that, just moves like that. Okay, thanks for watching.